And now, it's time to go In the Garage with Bodie Stroud. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to In the Garage. Wow, that was quick. That was quick. You were just in time. Just in time. Yeah. I'm Bodie Stroud. I'm Mitch McDonald. And I'm Nikki. Hi, Nikki. <laughs> Hi. You okay? I'm sick. Oh, God. So, yeah, if you want to move your chairs. Yeah. Hi, Mitchell. Hi. The right. How are you? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Just warning you. <sighs> God. That's all right. I was sick Sunday. I was, oh, man. And Monday, I had something with the stomach. Eesh. Really? Yeah, it was brutal. I have this, like, combination of a cold slash flu slash stomach. I don't know what it is. I guess it's going around, whatever it is. It's really horrible. I yeah. Want, I just yeah. want to get better so I can... Well, I got kids, so they bring home all kinds of stuff. I don't know where I got it. I was, like, having a conversation and trying to figure out, okay, well, who am I hanging out around with? I don't really hang around with anybody that's sick. You know, how did this happen? It's just... I got gotcha. you. It's something in the air. Yep, it sure is. I don't like it. Yeah, well, welcome to the show, everybody. Uh, now that we uh, got you all caught up to speed on how sick we all are. <laughs> <laughs> want to thank everybody for joining us. Catch us live every Wednesday from 10 to 11 a.m. Pacific time in the garage from BS Industries. Um, man, you can catch us anywhere on the Internet, crntalk.com, cable TV, Comcast, uh, podcast, iTunes, uh, in your car, AHA Radio, Stitcher, iHeart. Jeez, though. We're everywhere. Mm -hmm. Each week in the garage is brought to you by Steel Rubber Products. Check them out at www.steelrubber.com. And also, we'd love to hear uh, those questions from you. So get us those questions at bodystroud.com forward slash in the garage or go to Facebook. Boy, there's a lot of stuff. What? Really? We're yeah. going to do all this stuff? Yep. All right. If they're true fans, they'll do it. Yeah, I do I guess it. So. I, I'm following you on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. Wow! And Thank your you. website. Thank you. And your YouTube. All right. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Sounds good. So if you're a fan, go check out those sites. Follow us. You'll see what we're up to. See what we're up to. We're up to so much stuff. Holy moly! Um, <sighs> look at the shop. It's completely packed. It is. I mean. I noticed. And it's freezing in here, too, by the way. <laughs> what? We were, yeah, we were complaining. This is the most comfortable feeling ever in the world. I'm freezing. <laughs> well, I could turn the heat back up to 110 no, if you were happy with I'm that. <laughs> Six. What is it, like 65 in here, 68? It's that's, cold That's me. not cold. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you're getting the chills or something because you're sick. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's but, probably it. But yeah, you got a lot of cars in here. What are you working on? We're working on a little bit of everything. Um, God, we got so much going on all the time. Uh, I literally, you you saw, I just walked right in here from welding and grinding and... Um, barely made it. Barely made it in here. Barely got the headphones on. And uh, yeah, I... Where do I start? We got... <laughs> for some reason, we got Chevys. 55 through, we got 55, 56, 57 Chevys for some reason all of a sudden rained down on us. Nice. Uh, Camaros, uh, the Pontiac, I mean, they're just, we're busy. Holy I see moly. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, when we come back, we'll continue talking about how busy we are in cars and not how sick you are. We'll stop that. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to In the Garage. Yeah, I'm looking for that uh, that new Ken Block video. I'm sure everybody who's car guy has seen that thing, that all all wheel drive '65 Mustang. Uh, pretty cool video. Um, yeah, if you haven't seen it, you should check it out. 
Just Google it. I but haven't seen it. What's, a, it's what's it about? It's on YouTube. Uh, it's about this all-wheel drive uh, 65 uh, Mustang, and Ken Block drives it. He's uh, pretty well known for his drifting and stuff he does, and he drives it through the streets of L.A., and it's cool it's really video. a cool video. I mean, um, yeah, he hammers the the bleep out of that thing. Really? Yeah, yeah. And I it just I was... I'm sitting there thinking, man, I want to do that. Have you ever tried like racing or no, any never. Of those cool things? No, never. No. No. I got into well, not even I got into it, but just it interested me. Drifting from Fast and the Furious. Yeah. I saw them doing it, and then I had a couple of friends that tried to do it. Thankfully, we didn't die in the car. But, oh, great! But yeah, People I mean, are out there trying it. it so cool, I'm though. kidding. I've done all kinds of Have stuff really? in racing I <laughs> cars. Love yes, to try it. I love driving fast. That's why I was like jealous. I'm like, gosh, man. But you know, he's got the money. He got people building this car for him, and he's getting in it, and he's just hammering on it. And you he know? doesn't get like stopped by the cops or anything like that. No, the cops are all blocked off the street, so oh, it was all okay. set up and helicopter and this and that. Uh, kudos to the guys that built the car. I can't, I haven't seen anything on who built the car, so I have no idea. I don't know if it was his own private team or, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. But it, it's pretty cool. The footage is pretty cool. It shows, you know, the whole car and. Um, my favorite part is the beginning where it's all, it's all-wheel drive, so he's got it chained down, and he hits it and lights up all four wheels, and it's just sitting there smoking all four tires. That's wow. that's pretty, in the car world, that's pretty insane. Sounds like it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, pretty cool. Sounds like it. Yeah, I so now I want to do an all, all-wheel drive vehicle, you know? Yeah, I think that would be awesome. I'd curious as to what drivetrain they used for the all-wheel drive yeah setup. i am too so, but i've like i said i've been looking and i haven't really <clears> seen <throat> anything on who built the car or any information like that it's all about ken block so ken, i mean he ken does block? yeah he does awesome driving he does awesome driving but as a builder my hat's off to the guy that built that car because he hammers that thing yeah yeah we gotta find that off curves on curves uh at one point it looked like he hit a parking block uh he hit uh, one obstacle that was set up in the middle of the street. So, but I mean, that's that's insane, you know. Mm-hmm. An all-wheel drive and making it drift like that. Whew. Anyways, uh, so yeah, there's that. Check that out if uh, you haven't seen it yet. Um, it's on YouTube. I guess it got over five million views the first day wow. it came out. Yeah, so it's that's pretty cool. Awesome. Yeah, definitely gonna check that awesome. out. Yeah, hats and off then to I'll him. try and find the maker for you when we come back next week. The what? Um, whoever made the car. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll get yeah. some info yeah. on that. Okay, cool. I'm interested. Yeah, if you see anything, send it over to me because I'm always uh, I'm always building stuff. It's funny. If you're listening and you always call me and you get mad because I don't call you back, I'm actually going to leave my phone in the office and I work. That's the reason. I don't, you know. That's great. People are so used to technology and, like, Why getting a hold of Yeah, phone? it's like, whoa, dude, I just called you five minutes ago. Why didn't you answer? <laughs> It's like, whoa, take it easy, man. Jesus. Right? I completely I actually understand. work. Right? Yeah. I'm not the guy sitting behind the desk with my feet up on the desk. I think people have a picture. They paint a picture. If you're a business owner, you inst- instantly become that guy. You're the guy that has all the time in the world, all the money in the world. You can do whatever you want, whenever you want. And boy, is that so far from the truth. Right? Mm-hmm. So you're that business owner that actually works. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. understand. I completely understand. Yeah. Why didn't you answer your phone? That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Or Facebook or whatever. It's like, man, take it easy. It just, uh, just take it easy. I we get all worked up here. Just cause I didn't return your message in I two like minutes. I like Facebook though. I'm starting to do this thing where I post up stories that kind of rub me the wrong way like recently i posted the charles manson marriage story (laughs) and i i was just interested in what other people think like the first thing i thought when i saw it was ill well if you're interested in what other people think say congratulations charles manson (laughs) and see what they say (laughs) i'm sure they'll get back to you right away (laughs) right what are you Oh, that's great. I'm, well, I'm a, I stay away from the the politics and all that stuff on on there. That no one wants to hear what I have to say. I do. <laughs> no, you don't. I do. Uh, 
So Thanksgiving's coming up. Thanksgiving's coming up. Yes, it is. And um, And you're going to be gone. I'm going to be gone. I'll be in Morro Bay. Yeah. That's That's awesome. Yeah. When are you leaving? Uh, I think Thursday or Friday. Yeah. So it'll be cool. Anyways, we're, uh, yeah, we got so much stuff going on. We got uh, our chassis, our suspension. Um, really excited about the way it's it's going and it's moving forward. Everything, it seems like it's going to be a really exciting year for us next year. Um, just so much stuff in the works, and we're so busy right now. And, um, yeah. Yeah. I love how you said busy and the phone went off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's how you can tell. Exactly. Sound yeah. effects, exactly. Those are real. <laughs> yeah, that's not a keyboard that I'm, but I, although I want that keyboard. <laughs> Right but um, oh, God, what are we working on, Mitchell? We got uh, we got a lot of things that are secret that we can't give out. Um, I wish as we, usual. I hate the as secret usual. Things. I know, but it's so exciting when it leads up to when we can actually talk about yeah, it. Yeah, that's know? true. I really haven't talked much about my uh, my new website. Um, if you haven't good. seen it, check it out: bshotrods.com or bodystroud.com. Either one, go check it out. Uh, really happy with it. I uh, want to thank Hostwell for doing that for me. Um, very professional. Uh, we got all the new branding. We got some new T-shirt designs. We got we got one new one already in stock, and now we got another one that's being made. And then uh, we got new hats coming in first of December. So nice. I'm excited about that with all our new logo and everything. So it's a lot of exciting stuff. Um, uh, what else? So we got Mitchell. Are you going to have any, like, T-shirt giveaways? I know you were doing that at SEMA. Yeah, we need to do some T-shirts. Yeah, we gave away a few. And, I want to uh, sign up and get yeah, a free T-shirt. Yeah, yeah. I'll, yeah, ro- I'll to... rock it on the show. Okay, all right. I'll, <laughs> I'll give you a deal. I'll give you two two for 40. <laughs> They're 20 bucks each. Oh. Yeah, that's good, no? Yeah, I just want to... <laughs> I want to went right it. over it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just kidding. I'm but uh, anyways, check out our new website. I'm really happy about that. And we, you know, we were we were waiting for a few other things to unveil the website and hit it hard. But we're we're okay with releasing it right now. Um, so if you haven't checked it out, check it out. It's great. It's beautiful. It's a lot of. It's really. Uh, it really cinematic. is your first video when you go to bodystrap.com and that video comes up. Yeah. Oh, whoever shot that video is amazing. Yeah, and we're going to be doing some more stuff with him uh, shortly. Like I said, we got so much stuff coming out. We got our truck, our production line. We're going to start on the 56 Ford pickup. So we got uh, a lot of stuff in the works. Next year looks pretty good. Anyways, we're going to take a break. You're listening to CRN Digital Talk Radio in the garage. back in the garage just sitting here checking out a tool magazine catalog i like going through these things you know what i mean find all kinds of good stuff you know yeah (laughs) (laughs) i have no idea what i'm looking at but (laughs) these are tools of the trade (laughs) stepped pickle fork set people look at me like i'm crazy when i've told when they ask me for a pickle fork set if I have one and I tell them no I've never used one in my life and I've worked on big rigs tractor trailers I've done any every kind of suspension every kind of steering every kind of uh, tie rod work y- you name it I've done it all what are you supposed to use a, a pickle set the only reason you want to use one of those is or- if you want to ruin something really in my line of profession yeah I've never used one ever Wow. And okay. the only time I've ever seen somebody use one, they've completely destroyed a ball joint or something. Already. Wow. All yeah. right. There's a tip for you guys. Stay away from them. There the you go. Stay stuff. away from them. 
I mean, I, that's my people swear by him, but I mean, if you want to score something up or mess something up, right, Mitchell? Yeah, I tell that everybody. Be very destructive. Yeah, don't do it. There are so many simple ways to make those things pop out of a spindle, out of a steering arm, whatever. It's there's always a way to make them pop really easily. No matter how hard you think it's in there, they'll pop. Wow. I can get any one of them to pop. I've had them. Big giant suckers that I've just like pry bar and a little tiny hammer on the side. People think I'm nuts. They're like, you're using a, a little tiny like toy hammer. It just needs a little bit of tapping, a little bit of vibration, and they pop right out. Ooh. Just make sure the nuts on there. So if you got a big giant pry bar and you're doing it, always just try and get some a pry bar with some pressure somewhere, downward force or upward force. And then you tap on, not the ball joint, but the spindle. Tap on the spindle. Just give it a little bit of tap, and you'd be amazed. They just go pink. Wow. And you don't destroy anything. You've saved the day. You can change it. It's all super clean. Trust me. You'll be happy. All right. Yeah. That's a good little tip. Yeah. That was that was the tip of the day. Tip of so, the day. Pickle forks. Don't buy one. If you got one Stay in your away. toolbox, throw it out. You know another thing that I don't like? Air hammers. Never used one. People think I'm nuts there, too. What's, a, what's an air hammer? An air hammer is used for chiseling, uh, hammering something that's uh, hard or stuck in something. The, a lot of people just, they, they, they use this thing. It's just loud, and it's obnoxious, and you should wear earplugs if you are using one. And I watch people use them, and I just think, why? Why? <laughs> I've never, I mean, if you're having to use that much force, there's something wrong. I was taught at a young age that if you got to force it, there's something wrong. So step back, take a look at your problem, see what's going on, examine it. Because uh, everything in life, like a transmission or a motor or anything, is assembled in a, in a different format. You know, but it all st- starts at step one. Step one, step two, step three, step four. It's all layers. Okay? okay? And you can disassemble it the same way backwards, reverse. No matter how crazy technical you think it is or it looks like it's all sealed up and there's no way to, like, someone just molded this thing and, and you know, put it together and there's no way to take anything apart, no way to get the gears or anything. It's not true. Wow. Right, Mitchell? Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> yes. So, uh, yeah, air hammer. I hate those things. When I hear someone go off with one in the shop, I'm thinking, okay, maybe in the diesel world and the heavy-duty stuff, you, I could see one being used. But here with these cars, I've never, I've never personally had to use one. I don't have one. I do. I think I have one, and, and all I used on it was the air fitting. I took the air fitting off the end and... Use it on something else. <laughs> you know what I mean? Seriously, if you're trying to undo it like a, a a seam where it's been spot welded, get your little spot welding tool, drill out the spot welds, use a chisel, flathead screwdriver. Just tap, 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 tap. It'll pop free, right? Mm-hmm. I got guys in here, back, and you're, what the? Oh, God, my ears, stop. And you think they're going to just do it for a second, but two hours later, right, they're still going. You're going, what are they doing? That's when i got to have the talk with them. Yes. So just a little helpful advice there. Hope the you all enjoyed that. Tips of the day. Tips of the day. Man, I could tools go through this catalog. All, yeah, That's tools awesome. not to use, yes. Thank you, Bodie. Yeah, you're welcome. I'll be back for more after these words. <laughs> Back in the garage. If you're just joining us, we were telling you what tools not to use. 
it's amazing what you can find if you're just breezing through a catalog here and uh yeah you know it's amazing you look at it and it's like god i've tried every tool in here you know it's pretty cool Anyways, uh, so what you got for us today, Nick? You got some trivia, you saying? I what, do. What you, all right, what do you some got? Some automobile history trivia. Oh, boy. Here we go. So let's see if you know the history Okay. behind this. Okay. All right, question number one. Mm-hmm. First U.S. car maker to mass produce cars with standardized parts is... And I don't have A, B, C, or D for you. standardized parts? Oh, I would say Ford. Yeah, I'd say Ford. <laughs> it's a uh, Oldsmobile. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, there you That's go. ridiculous. <laughs> Number two, this model of car had no options, not even the color. Quote, you have any color as long as it is black, said the company owner. Which car is that? I remember that too, but I don't remember what car it was. Mm-hmm. I've heard the same thing. Um... Ford. <laughs> I'll just say Ford again. Yeah, the anyway. Model T Ford. Yeah. Say, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> if you think about all the old Fords, they're all uh-huh. black. Yep. <clears throat> Question number three. This saying, come along with me, blank, in my merry Oldsmobile is... Um, come along with me, what? Come along with me, blank, in my merry Oldsmobile. Come along with me... Um, that sounds familiar. Couldn't have been that catchy of a jingle. Yeah, <laughs> come along. It's a song. I I think uh, so. Um, a song or a saying from a also. movie? Because it sounds familiar. I don't know. What is it? Lucille. Lucille. Oh. Come along with me, Lucille, in my movie. I wonder if it was oh, Lucille and Lucille and Ball or Lucille Ball. It show. kind of rhymes. Yeah, it does must be a song. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Number four, in 1903, two automobile executives raced their own cars. Ransom E. Olds in his Pirate and Alexander Winton in his Bullet. That race was held on this beach. Uh, I... <laughs> I don't know. Somewhere in Mexico? <laughs> Ormond Beach? Ormond? I have no idea where that is. I think it's like Daytona Beach. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. That makes sense. That would work. Yeah. Okay. All right. I get that. Question number five. Mm -hmm. In 1908, William C. Durant offered to sell stock in a new venture called General Motors, then used the cash and stock to buy four existing automakers. The brand name of those first four GM cars are... Uh, Pontiac? Yes. Um. But it was called a different name back then. Hmm. Um. God, who else? Uh, the Cadillac. Cadillac? Mm-hmm. Um. Oh. Uh. uh Lincoln? No. No. No? Ford. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Why do they have the... Okay, yeah, never mind. Yeah. I think they also have Buick or Oldsmobile. Yeah, Buick. Ding, ding, ding. You guys, got them, you guys got them all right. That's Buick, Cadillac, Oakland. Except for Lincoln. I don't know Pontiac, what I was thinking there. and Oldsmobile. I was thinking of the Lincoln Navigator for some reason and thinking that was GM. <laughs> God. <laughs> Looks like one, doesn't it? A little bit. Yeah, okay. Ready for the next question? Yeah, sure. All right, a car was named for this French adventurer who in 1701 founded the city of Detroit. Mm-hmm. Sure. <laughs> sure it was. Bob Smith. No. Ah, dang it. He was French? Yes. Uh, I know, I'm probably going to butcher the name right now in a bit, but... Go for it, I want to hear you. <laughs> it's a Cadillac or... Uh, Antoine. Let me see. Antoine. A N T O I N E. 
Antoine Delamont Cadillac. Delamont Cadillac. It's Ant Antoine, right? Mm hmm. Or Antoni? Antoine? Antoine? No, I don't know. <laughs> right? I have no idea. Gosh, we're really showing how stupid we all are <laughs> right now. Maybe we shouldn't do these enough trivia of, questions. <laughs> enough for us last week. So. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Number seven. The fifth car company to be part of General Motors in 1911 was named for this Swiss born race car driver. Oh, it's named after a car. Say it again. The fifth car company to be part of General Motors was named for the Swiss-born race car driver. And that was General Motors 1911. Huh. I have no idea. You want to give, give cracks at name brand? Bob Smith. No. Who is Bob Smith? Know. You keep saying Bob Smith. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, Louis Chevrolet. Chevrolet. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. So just think of like, you know, cars. Didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Next I'm question? thinking of like cars, but I, I don't <laughs> I'm terrible with names and, and dates and oh, you remembering have no stuff idea. like that. I'm, no, I do. I'm the same way. Oh, okay. I'll go meet ahead. you and I'll be like, what's your name again? <laughs> yeah. And then I'll ask three more times and then... Well, I'm not that bad. I'm really bad. <laughs> I'm really bad. All right, next question. Yeah. Charles Ketterig's invention was one of the most important advancements the auto industry has ever known. It first appeared on Cadillacs in 1912. Cars equipped with his invention sold like crazy. His company, Dayton Engineering Laboratories Company. What was his invention? I don't know. Winch wiper. Cruise control. Power steering. Power steering. It was the electric starter. His, oh. his company, Dayton Engineering Lab. I love that guy. <laughs> better known as Delco, would oh. become part of General Motors. Oh, shoot. You should have said that. We would have had a better chance. Okay, oh, we got to take a break. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> doing a trivia quiz. Oh man, I don't I don't think I want to do that anymore. I think it was more <laughs> facts. Last segment we just showed how really dumb we all are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one last one, one last one. Just because okay. it has James Bond in it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. I've always loved a James Bond car. When I was a kid watching James Bond, that was like my favorite part of the movie. I just would I thought I want that stuff in my car. Wow. I really do. I want to blow some dude up. And I want to, well, actually, I want to blow lots of things up. <laughs> and um, I want to fly and I want to, like, go in the water and I want, like, a pin that shoots bullets and. Halle Berry to be next to you. Halle Berry to be next to me? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> sure. I don't know. She's getting a little crazy. Yeah. Give me someone else. <laughs> <laughs> JLo? <laughs> uh, whatever. <laughs> All right, here we go. Although James Bond drove several cars throughout the films, the best and most famous car appeared for the first time in Goldfinger. So what was Bond's car that came complete with machine guns, rotary, rotating number plate, and ejector seat? BMW. No. Mercedes. Austin Martin. Yeah, I think it's the Aston Martin DB5. Mm. Ding, ding, ding. Good job, Martin. I mean... Martin. Good job, Martin. <laughs> That's <Interesting>. a <laughs> uh, uh, Shoot. All right. So is that it? Yeah. Oh, thank God. That's it. Oh we God. ended with the, on a good note. I I'm have like no idea. I'm sweating here. It's 60 degrees in here and I'm sweating. I, got, I should have like a spot. I feel like I should have a spotlight over me. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
Ah, <laughs> oh, Nikki, you're so funny. I'm like so uh, out of it right now. Are you? You look I, like it. I, you um, got this dazed look in your eyes. I'm I, you just to looked at, right through me when I looked at you. I you can't had... hear anything. That's another <laughs> system. I can't hear anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if we're a little loud today or too low, I can't hear okay. anything. All right. Well, that explains it. Okay. Cool. Well, I was looking for another tool to bag on here, but I can't find anything, so I'll, I guess I'll just move on to what other... What is this, AutoZone? Uh, I think this is AutoZone, yeah. Yeah. If you ever get a chance and you're just some guy in your garage and you're, you're looking at tools, I mean, they do have some okay tools in their catalog. Go to their one of AutoZone stores or O'Reilly and um, right. pick one up. Yeah. You can... Uh, they they have these sitting on the counter usually. Right, Mitchell? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> And they have just about everything you need uh, to fill your garage up with tools and supplies and stuff like that. I mean, they got cutting wheels and. I heard there's. Oh, see, there's the air hammer, uh, air chisel set. Ugh. Oh, that's how they look. There, there's an air, air hammer. That's it. I, I just can't stand them. I, <laughs> I, I want to cringe when I hear people using them. But I mean, I guess if that's what you know and that's how you were taught, then who am I to judge? I just know it could be done quieter. And we love quieter. In my older age, it's the noises are starting to, to hurt my bones. So. Aww. Yeah. Thank Aww. you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Jeez. God. <laughs> Serious sympathy. You know, there's a tool, too, to do uh, U-joint, uh, yeah, U-joints to pop them out that makes it really simple as well. I just saw it, but uh, I'm not, I lost it. I'm not going to find it again. I'm not going to look for it. But Aww. uh if you don't have one of those, and, and sometimes it does help with uh, steering arms and ball joints and stuff like that as well. So you get one of those as well. Those help. You know, over the years you learn, I've learned a lot. When I first started, you know, my favorite tool was a hammer and um, an air chisel. <laughs> <laughs> After you just finished bagging yeah. on it. <laughs> and a, and a, a, a fork, a, a pickle fork. No way. Oh, I loved them. No, I'm just kidding. I was going to say. I did try them. Mm-hmm. And I had an uncle that I worked with that was pretty smart at about everything he did. And uh, fortunately, he was there because he told me he pulled it out of my hands and threw it in the trash. Wow. So, or he would, I would come in the next day, and if I was working on a project, he would hide the tool from me, and I'd say, "Where's where'd my tool go?" You know, for example, I'd never forget. It was like yesterday. Uh, I was building a trailer, and. Um, I had stick welded everything and, uh, you know, my welds weren't the greatest back then. I had some bad ones. And so I'm grinding on it, trying to make it look all pretty and this and that. And I ground, you know, had the grinder run in half the day. And, uh, next day I came in and the grinder was gone. Well, wow. he had took it home and he said, uh, learn how to weld. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, Hmm. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> so from that day forward, I just worked on making my welds look pretty and making them work and actually function like they're supposed to function. Because when you're a kid, you're just thrashing, you know. You're just, okay, I'm going to do this and I'm going to make it hold. You know, I never thought about, you know, pretty or, you know, I just wanted it to whatever I was building work. Yeah. So That's a good way of learning, though. Some of the best teachers I've had were the ones that were like, we're total assholes. Harsh, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> I hate you. And this I know. Bad. But to I know. this day, I'm like, I you know wonder how they are because they made the biggest influence in my life. Well, it's amazing because uh, I, I almost quit teaching because no one listens to me. I try to do the same kind of teaching methods uh-huh. and people just want to walk away because uh-huh. they, they get so butt hurt. So anyways, we got to take a break. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to In the Garage. What was I talking about before the break? See, I got all fired up there. Uh, yeah. You just don't want to hear what I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had a question for you. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. Go for no, it. No, it's a car question. Okay, cool. All it right. Is, okay, so you know how in the summertime, cars break down because it's really, really hot? Mm-hmm. Do they break down in the wintertime when it's really, really cold? Because hmm. my, my car kind of acted a little funny when I, I started it this morning. It took a while to start, and it never does that. But it really? was freezing this morning, so I was just wondering if it Is it had... a diesel? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, shoot. A... Well, that'd be a simple... I, I could answer that question. It's an old uh, clunker. It's an old clunker. Well, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Toyota. So it's going to hate the heat, and it's going to hate the cold. Uh, yeah. There, there's it, warm-blooded, like... there's cold-blooded cars, there's... Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. So just no matter depends what. on what kind of fuel system you have. I mean, if you have an old fuel system on it and it's choke or something, then the choke's not working properly and it's, uh, you know, uh, it doesn't like the cold, it's not going to start. It's going to have a harder time in the morning until it gets warmed up. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. And it's going to start getting colder. And it's going to start getting harder to start. Right? Or I'm going to be late for work. <laughs> oh, no. oh, shoot. Yeah, I, so I that mean, was just my question because I was wondering about that. Yeah. No, it's it's true. I mean, cars hate heat for because they're so hot and they generate so much heat. That's that's one thing. So if you don't have a good cooling system, it's, it's obviously not going to like it. Mm -hmm. uh, same goes with the cold temperatures. If you don't have a choke working properly or something and it's not... Uh, everything's not working like it's supposed to when you first fire it up and it's not heated, it's going to have a hard time until it gets warm. Mm, okay. Yeah, so you just need to make sure all that stuff's working properly. All right, so should I, like, turn it on and then let it warm up and then be on my way? I suggest turning it on if it fires up, putting the pedal to the floor, holding it at six grand as long as possible, at least ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Just bounce off the rev limiter. And, yeah. Just, it should be, by the time you put it in gear and take off, you should be good to go. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> is, is smoke going to come out from the back like that your, video? Your car yeah. probably won't make But it's not going to be from the tires. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be from the tires. It's going to be from a, a rod and oil. But, right. Yeah, My car going out. And, Thanks, yeah. Cody. Yep. Thanks, Mitchell. <laughs> what kind of car is it again? Oh, it's a Toyota... Maybe car. you shouldn't be saying what you're right? Toyota car. It's a car Toyota, Toyota car. Toyota car thing. Eighty something. 80 oh Lord, yeah, seven? you got a yeah. So you, it's probably like a uh, God. What are those motors? Corolla, S Toyota SR22 or I forget what they are. But um, yeah, I mean, you could definitely have a, a, a fuel system issue there. Mm. Yeah, so I'd check it out. Anyways, okay, look at that. The music's coming on for the end of the show. Holy moly. I want to thank everybody for joining us. Hopefully we didn't ramble on too much and make ourselves look too stupid. <laughs> uh, and, and you'll return to listen to the show next week. <laughs> you got, you know you have those shows. You just have those those one-off weird D8 days. Right. You're feeling funky. I'm sick. I'm got, I got a million things running through my brain. But, I, you know, overall I thought it was pretty cool. I hope it entertained everybody. I hope we gave some helpful advice. As always, uh, each week in the garage is brought to you by Steel Rubber Products. Check them out at steelrubber.com and check out our latest updates on our uh, our website, bodystroud.com, vshotrods.com. Uh, check us out at Facebook. Like us, like our page on uh, Facebook. Yeah. dot com forward slash bodystroud. Next week we got House of Color coming, cool. so be tuned for that. Yeah, and then it's Thanksgiving. And then it's Thanksgiving. Yep. All right, have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next week. See you next week, because you're always welcome in the garage with Bodie Stroud. Presented by Steel Rubber Products, www.steelrubber.com, on CRN Digital Talk Radio, www.crntalk.com.